What's going on guys, here we have the new 2023 Panini Zenith Football FOTL, two boxes for our review here today. If you guys like these and you want to see more, drop a like and subscribe, help us do a lot more. Press the buttons down below, absolutely free, helps do more content and more giveaways. Our current giveaways, well, we have actually two of them. We have the Prison Basketball Hobby Box, $1,000 plus, one a year, just like, sub, comment, enter, YouTube only. Then we have the Flawless Box, the 17k box we just opened in a recent video. The cards you guys voted for, $1,000 of prizes to many winners. Just like, sub, follow me on the free WhatNot app. We go live for breaks, auctions, and giveaways, stuff like that. Join a live stream when it's time this Wednesday. Info's down below. Absolutely crazy. So giveaways galore. If those are over when you're seeing this video, same steps, new prizes, tons of freebies. I did mention, I think, maybe a week or so ago that a million products were on the way and big stuff too, and we're not even close to done. Some monster stuff's coming down the horizon, so stay tuned. But here's Zenith. So... This is FOTL, has some bonuses, a little bit different from the hobby one. And we finally have it here. There is the back. I'll fly through the info. It's actually pretty simple, despite being a long blurb here. And here we go. SRP is actually pretty cheap at 100. That means nothing these days because resale for hobby is kind of the mid to high 200 range. FOTL is the high 400, kind of low 500 range. So definitely not cheap. But look for six cards in every single pack, one pack per box, 12 box cases. You get one RPA, one other auto, two inserts, one base, one rookie in every box. But FOTL will have one exclusive sparkle patch auto to 50 and one exclusive pinnacle inscriptions on card vet auto to 193 or less. Random numbering, but parallels, artist proof, there's silver, gold, emerald, and platinum 101s. Autographs, RPAs, is base, multi-sign cards like Team Summit. And then look for Kaboom 101 parallels for some of those. There's vet patch autos and a lot more inserts. This is from Panini. They say there's a zesty array of inserts. So interesting there. Z team, Z stars, zeal of approval. There's epics, class president, thunder and lightning, and more. Some of these are from playoff. That set is no longer, and it's in here. And touchdown 101 parallels. And that's pretty much it. So let's get ripping and let's pull something nice, I hope. Here we go. Zenith football. I like this set. Don't love it, but like it. Not my favorite on earth, but... Every time I open it, I'm pretty happy with what I see. So hopefully that stays the same. There we go. And because it was such a big week, actually, we have this a little bit late. So this is maybe a couple days late. We already did our breaks for this. And um, yeah, I think Flawless and then Dynasty and this were all the same day. So it was a hectic day and we finally have zenith let's see our cards here's number one let's hope for some monsters first card up it is zach Ertz. so i think 2020 they brought this back i like the design kind of dances around the card there's the base 55 point stock and i think there's a retail format as well so look out for that but yeah it's nice look good and um yeah, it's just a base card, but next one up. Let's see. Once again, if you guys like these videos and you want to see more, drop a like and subscribe. Liking and subbing helps do a lot more and commenting. And do those things and you're entered into the YouTube-only Prison Basketball Hobby Box Giveaway. Overshown to 50. All right. Nice cards. Nothing insane. My favorite part is that. The kind of rainbow dancing around the card. And, um... Yeah, they don't stand out too much, but they're not the worst because there are some designs I do not like. This one I think is nice, but it is kind of, you know what? They did combine playoff into the set. It feels very playoff -y to me. All right, next one I think should be inserts. Here we go. Let's take a look. All right. And also we have a flawless 17K Many winner giveaway as well. Jamar Chase. Just like sub, follow me and whatnot. Join a live stream when it's time and you're entered. Sweet. All free. Will be fun. And um, yeah, cool stuff for you guys for big releases. And stay tuned. More big products coming. IMAX on the way. Um, and more. Now that I say it, I can't think of another one, but there's a lot more. So going to be a busy month. Nice card. These are nice. We did our breaks for these already. This was Friday or Saturday night, something like that. And I was pretty happy with what I saw. Nice haul of stuff. Here's an insert. A lot of big hits from our openings. There's Z-Team, Aaron Jones. 
looks nice, but nothing like, you know, too wild. Here we are. Here's the back. So, yeah, just nice, right? What do you guys think? Sleeve for this one. Like if I saw it at a card show, I'd probably see it go, cool. But would I stop? Probably not. So let's see. Here's the RPA. And hopefully a nice one. Obviously half the guys don't sign, so not ideal. QB, Stetson Bennett to 50. Okay, rookie patch autographs. Not the best one. And uh, yeah, from the case we opened on whatnot, and we'll have many more breaks coming soon. I think we got most of the top rookies. It was pretty good. And last one here. Let's see who we got. Acetate Vet on card. Only 17 guys in the set. They advertised Josh Allen, although he's not on the checklist now, which is very odd. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is, but here we go. Marcus Colston on card, acetate. All right. That's nice. That was the box of nice. Nothing. Maybe jump out my seat, but, you know, all right. Hopefully, this one's better because, yeah, just, just okay. We've seen a lot better in our streams. Can we get that a lot better? So Justin Jefferson, what else? Um, in that set right there. Yeah, Richardson. Uh, Stroud. PJ Stroud. And who else? Levis. So I'm very excited to open these boxes. I did say in stream I was itching to rip these because our case break was so good. So that's why... I'm optimistic, although that first one, if I'm being honest, that's probably the worst one if it was in the case that we uh, ripped. Now I think about it, so yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Box number two. For our two-box review. Always vote for the winner down below right now. And, uh... Oh, never mind. I thought I miscounted the cards. Here we go. Right now, it's not the highest bar. Alright. Number one. To 50, Jerry Judy. Is he Cleveland now? Alright, there we are. I had a nice two of him this set. I think I sold it in one of our auctions. But, um, always looked very good. There you are. Next one up. Let's take a look. Box two. And if you like any of these cards, unless I pull a massive PC hit here, they'll all be available in our upcoming auction this week. Drew Sanders. I pull him all the time. Don't know why. Don't know how. But this guy, at least every video and or break, we see this guy. So hopefully he's great. All right. Inserts. Come on. Another gold shroud. Here you go. Nice bend. Classic chrome cards. Okay. Justin Fields and DJ Moore. That's the... uh interesting part about being so backed up on releases is that um he's no longer a bear obviously legendary duo did a lot of winning together and uh yeah actually though hopefully caleb's that guy and he can do well with his new team but um this did not age very well and they spelled it right this time i think okay so far nothing to uh write home about here we go Last insert. Let it be good. Come on. Now, the FOTL bonus, in theory, should replace your odds of getting all the other stuff. However, people in our stream told us that they saw the other sets. Mahomes. We have a nice little uh, Crown Pacific collection, 2000. One of the older sets that I never uh, collected, unfortunately, but I am aware of as of you know recently here we go wouldn't mind trying some of the older sets but i would need you guys to help there's some that i do know and some that i don't know i collected baseball back then and i ran out of sleeves somehow whoops miscounted all right so there we go and i wasn't the most advanced collector mostly base cards 
I've been looking into some older boxes to try for a fun opening. So comment down below what you want to see. RPA, please be good. It is. Got to flip it like this. Come on. Hmm. It's a 50. Rashawn Johnson. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not very good. So far, so bad, unfortunately. This is the exact opposite of the case we opened on whatnot. Exact opposite. This one's terrible. It's only two boxes, but once again, almost every box is pretty nice. And our breaks. Last card. What are your thoughts on this set? Once again, if you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe, help us do a lot more. Enter the giveaways, many prizes. Oh, why do I think that was Josh Allen? It's TJ Hawkinson. Oh, man. Yeah. If you want to see more, let me know. I don't know how I miscounted the sleeves so badly, but we're completely out. So, whoops. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? 200. TJ Hawkinson on card auto. And that does it. That was not a good representation of this product. At least compared to the case we opened, which was excellent. This one was actually pretty terrible. These two. So, yeah. Um, Zenith. So, here's a recap. We'll start actually here. So, uh, this set, a lot of vets, solid names, but Josh Allen potentially not being in there would be a huge L because he's the best guy in the set. So Panini, what's going on? Seth and Bennett. How about Aaron Jones? Jamar Chase. How about Overshone and Zach Ertz? The highlights from this box will be this one. And then from box two. There we go. All right. So thank you guys for watching. My thoughts on scale from one to 10, not on the box I opened, but the product. Always on the product. I still think it's nice. We open you know, like what, 14 boxes? And like at least 10 of those are very nice. Uh, I could make the case for 12, I think. So that's my thoughts. These boxes stunk. And actually, they don't even deserve to be on screen. They're going over there. No good stuff, unfortunately. But hey, win some, lose some. I can't complain. We had good luck recently. Sheriff, sure, 1 to 10, I'm giving this product a 5. We're in the average line because the ceiling is not too high. But from my experience, the 4 was high enough. That's what I think. A lot of nice sets and uh, definitely risky. Only six cards. And yeah, what do you guys think? Design looks very nice. I love design since I think 2020 when they first brought it back. So yeah, that's it. Zenith FOTL a few days late. Hopefully we can catch back up because there's like four more notable products on the horizon. Stay tuned to this channel and uh, whatnot for more. A lot of fun stuff. And does it, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.